Hi my loves, let me make sure my mic is connected. How are you guys? Oh my god guys, welcome back to a new vlog. If you're returning, I don't know the last time that I actually did a proper intro for my vlog. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch me. Um, if this is your first time seeing me, hey love, you're welcome, Mara here. I'm a Nigerian who is currently living in Canada and schooling, okay? But if you're returning, you know you have the mvp card i love you guys so much it is actually rare to see me in this setting home by this time it's currently past 12. i have a brand shoot today i uh, i will take you guys along like as much as i possibly can okay i have a brand shoot today but it's a friend of mine and her husband that owns the brand so i'm going to be wearing what some of their outfits i don't even know how many but like it's just a modeling shoot for their clothing line that they are just launching oh so, how many of you remember this bag this is a bag from teddy blake you guys and this is the bag i'm going to be using to pack everything i'm taking to the studio you know i unboxed this bag a few vlogs ago and come on like 
don't play just look at this just look at how classy like the few times i've used this bag i always feel elevated i feel like this sense of bouginess teddy blake is killing it honestly i always and would always talk about this brand anytime i get the opportunity to so this is the bag i'm going to be using to pack my stuff i love teddy blake and i think that is a brand that you know we should talk about more plug people because the quality that teddy blake offer you is the same quality you would get with most designer bags so the good thing is that teddy blake is having their semi-annual sales you can actually purchase anything that you want from teddy blake maybe so if you want to purchase or if you've always wanted to purchase something from teddy blake i'm gonna have the link you know to their website and social media in my description box okay i also have a discount code with teddy blake i'm gonna leave it on the screen and the description box as well so you can you know have everything you need to enjoy your shopping experience with them so this bag is also from teddy blake you guys and i've had it for over a year almost two years right now and <laughs> i kid you not the quality is still top notch but this one is my latest from them my new baby that aside i have a couple of things that i have to do before i leave the house okay and i wanted to show you guys that my lashes should I bring you guys down a bit? Hold on. Let's try something. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I got you guys down a bit. I think this is better. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my lashes. I've been doing my lashes myself since the last almost two months. And I'm not going back. Tell me why I have been paying $100 for my lashes when I can literally sit and do it by myself. I'll get back to the lashes, but let me just take you guys through what has been happening with me for a while, okay? So these days that, some days that I have to stay in the house like today, today's Friday and I'm currently at home. So in the last three weeks, I haven't been working on Mondays and Fridays. The reason is because um, the government just recently passed a new law regarding students and working. So currently, I am not allowed to work full time anymore as a student as long as I am enrolled. If you are enrolled full time, even if you're taking one class or two, but as long as it's considered full time, you're actually not supposed to work full time. So you're supposed to work just 20 hours. So currently I'm only working 20 hours. It's a blessing and a curse. A blessing because I get to rest for those two days. Like I have very long weekend. My day actually ends very early on Thursday. I resume work again Tuesday, right? So I get to rest. But the bad side is that my paycheck drops, of course, you know? <laughs> So the money, but I don't even care about the money right now. I think I care more about just having that time to rest. This is not a video about any updates in Canada, but this is just me sharing with you guys what's going on with my life. I am even more excited because I am taking my two final classes this spring. Okay, so it's it's quite draining because I have to go to class every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 6 p.m. to almost 10 p.m. okay it's very draining but because i'm close to the end of my program like i don't mind I, i'm patient like i'm not mad like i'm not mad okay so i'm so grateful to god by the time you guys are seeing this vlog i should probably be rounding up or even done with my program i mean done with my coursework but i might not have received my certificate of completion but of course that is going to be something i'll be looking out for because this girl is guys my battery died on me you guys will know okay but i don't even remember what i was but i think i was just talking about graduating and that rant is over but guys i really need your opinion on something um this 10k that we've been pursuing since if you notice it's, it's dragging you know <laughs> it's dragging but I know that a lot of it also has to do with my inconsistency in a while and also making sit down videos and videos that I think that people are seeking for. Right now, I really don't have so much time, so I just make videos that are convenient, okay? But you know, like I'm finishing my program, so I want to really re strategize as well for YouTube, and I need you guys to be able to do that, okay? So now I want you guys to let me know what day you would want me to post. I want to build a consistent um, posting schedule, right? So I want to have a day that I post, okay? That you know, Mara is posting a video today. If I don't make it posting, I'm gonna update you guys in the community. Like I want to be, I want to, I want to, you know, be a bit more serious. You know what I'm saying? So you guys should let me know. 
I'm thinking Wednesday or I'm thinking Wednesday or Saturdays because I I don't know if I've said it before Sundays I don't like posting on Sundays because I feel like it's, it, YouTube is always saturated on Sundays so many big YouTubers even big YouTubers that I love watching post on Sundays so I would rather watch than post okay so but I think that I also noticed that my videos tend to do better when I post on Saturdays uh, yeah that's what I feel so you guys should let me know would you want me to post on Saturdays or would you want me to post on Wednesdays those two days at the top of my head but i would prefer saturday of course but you guys should let me know now i want us to up have one video every week i would have wanted two videos if i would post two videos every week i would post wednesdays and saturdays but if since we are sticking with one for now let me know what you think the best day would be i'm thinking saturday okay but you guys i'm going to have it in the comment section just you know let me know the one or the day that you prefer because i want us to be con a little more consistent so we can hit this 10k it's already dragging I'm going to do my lashes right now i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do some of those um skincare stuff the whole shenanigan on beauty stuff that i don't get the time to do all the time which is like steaming my face wearing my volcanic uh clay marks i love that mark like my face feels so good so i take my time to do like a bunch of all those stuff and also for um, my lashes and my brows just to laminate them and do is it what they call it i think yeah i do all those beauty stuff so right now i want to do my lashes and i have a bunch of them so i'll show you guys the latest additions those ones i got them recently i actually got them off um aliexpress i've had one this one for a while too i got it off aliexpress then yeah i think this okay i have this one too as well but i got this one off amazon and it came with um the glue i'll show you guys this thing it came with the bond and the seal okay and it also has a remover okay and i also have this one I also have this one which I picked up from Crazy Beans Monday. This Monday because that's a few days ago. Monday, today is Friday, yeah. I picked this up from Crazy Bean. If you know me, you know that I love shopping from Crazy Bean. I have a video just in case you don't know what Crazy Bean is or where it is or what what like information about Crazy Bean. I'm going to link it here or here so you can watch because I've vlogged that store before and talked to you guys about it a lot of times. So I picked this up from Crazy Bean and it also has its own seal and um bond okay so these are the ones i don't even know the ones i'm going to be using for my lashes today then i have this one this set too i got it from um ali express i'm also an ali express babe you know so i have a lot i have like three different lash cluster sets is that what it's called right now because i'm upset i'm thinking i would use this one I'm thinking I'll use this one. So yeah, I'm going to fix my lashes right now. And yeah, talking of Crazy Bean, I also picked up some things from Crazy Bean, mostly clothing. I am going to also go to Dollarama on my way to pay for my car insurance and going to my um, work office. I'm going to pick up uh, some hangers because I don't have enough hangers again for the new clothing that I got. And I'm going to show you guys that much later, okay, when I come back. It's, I'm so sorry if this talking part is already too long but i kind of think that you guys also like it when i share things so i just turn on my camera and talk <laughs> i think that i also another thing is that i think that i overthink my vlogs i overthink what i want to do i overthink and sometimes the vlogs that i don't even do too much are the ones you guys love like why how i don't get but the ones i will set and go do this the video will just be looking at me like yeah so for my lashes normally before i do my lashes i would clean my lashes with this oh my goodness can you focus yeah he's calling me my phone is ringing so this is what it looks like Ooh, my dad my daddy i would usually clean my lashes with this before i start let me show you guys what it looks like it's like very foamy Oh yeah, you see, like very foamy stuff. But I won't need to do that because 
I've kind of like cleaned my face. My face is very clean today. Hello, daddy. Mm. So doing your lashes is pretty simple, okay? If you want to try this out, this set, they are on Amazon. You can get it from Amazon. It comes, usually would come with the lash set, bond and the seal, and um, also a tweezer. It, you would usually have a tweezer with it, and uh, maybe a brush, and uh, which one am I looking for? The remover, okay? You can use this and remove it. So it's pretty simple. Just apply your bond, I'm going to try and show you guys a bit of that though just a little bit make sure that your lashes are clean like very clean and you go ahead and apply your bond just the same way you would apply your mascara okay if you like this lash this particular one to be so long it's so long just look at just look at and this took me less than five minutes to do okay <laughs> so guys this is the first time I'm doing my lashes to look this heavy I have never gotten them at least done them by myself to feel this heavy this literally feels like so heavy just order something from amazon you can do your lashes so this should last me for at least a week so i'll talk to you guys later i want to quickly step out like i already told you guys i also want to cook what was the time oh my goodness it's getting so late i also want to cook i want to make um yam porridge oh my gosh that reminds me i'm going to show you guys the yam that i bought for 25 dollars you guys tell me <laughs> what you think like your opinion because yeah so i want to make yam porridge and yeah i'm going to show you guys that yam okay in a minute before i forget now i'm done with the lashes i'm just going to use the seal to just seal it i don't even know what this seal thing does honestly but you're just gonna use it okay you know what okay we're done applying the seal and um Sometimes I still go over it with the tweezer just to like press it down. Yep. Yep, so this weekend or this weekend is actually like a self-care weekend for me. So I've done all of this, but if you guys see my hair, if you see what is under this bonnet, you pick race. So tomorrow, Choma is supposed to help me come roll my hair tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that is it. But I'm done with every other thing. How did I do with the lashes? Do you guys like it? Try it. So let me show you guys the yam and uh, yeah. I'm actually moving this with my standing tripod. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay. Oh, I think my lashes kind of looks better with this light, this natural light. Okay, let me show you guys the yam that I bought for $28. Actually, Choma got the carton of the yam. I don't know. So we were like three that eventually shared it. So let me show you. So yeah, here. This is it. This is one. This is two. See, like when you're filming with natural light, it's super annoying see the way the sun just disappeared i'm sorry for the different tones guys and this is the third yam there were four of them I'm, i've cooked one or rather i had it like three or four almost four times um yeah so this is what it looks like it tastes really good okay it tastes very very good so i want to make some yam porridge right now and i wanted to say i found it a hack i don't know if it's a hack or if people already know it though if you want to preserve your yam if you're in canada or in the diaspora you want to preserve your yam what you should do is like when i cut this one i'm obviously not going to cook all of this i'm not sure except if i have to give some to my friend i will just cut this okay 
take the part that I want, I will peel off everything and just slice it the way that I want to slice it. Then I will put the remaining in a Ziploc and put it in the freezer. That is it guys. Just put the remaining in the Ziploc, but make sure you slice off the back. Put the remaining in a Ziploc and put it in the freezer. Anytime you want to eat it, just bring it out, put it in your pot, put water and cook it. It's going to be as fresh as even if you leave it in the freezer for months it's still going to be like that so that's how i preserve my yam i don't know if you even if you're in nigeria and you don't want your yam to spoil just slice it peel it off put it in the ziploc and put it in your freezer i tell you it's gonna taste the same whenever you bring it so yeah i'm going to go ahead and cook now i'm not going to show you guys that i'm not even sure what i'm doing today like my day is just everywhere although i know everything i'm going to do but I don't know if I should cook before I step out or come back and cook. I don't know, but whatever I do, I'll carry you guys along and I'll show you guys my food when I finish cooking the yam. But I'm not gonna vlog it. I'll just show you guys the press the I'll just show you guys the end result. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Not really, not too...